Good evening. It's eight o'clock and I'm about to go to bed. So this morning I got up at well after trying to sleep last night. I fell asleep around one o'clock. Woke up around twelve o'clock. I uh, no, not twelve, it's kinda of odd. I woke up around four went to the alarm going bzz, bzz, bzz. and then after a shower and messing around with the computer I had a verbal disagreement with the woman that looks after me, my mother. So I couldn't call a taxi in that sort of time, so I had to bite my lips, well, bite my tongue, and then get in the car and then go to work. Work was fine, not much, but I got told by my colleague, thank you, I am so appreciating what you said, thank you, Sian, thank you very much. He told me that. Someone had covered their nose when I had passed them. And he told me that he, maybe you're taking some medication, that it could be like that. And apparently it's the same smell as someone who takes uh, cocaine. I have never touched any drugs. Uh, actually, I have. I've taken, well, I've tried to smoke cannabis. But I couldn't roll it up properly, so I tried to eat it. Apparently, it needs some bake. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. The only drugs I take are paracetamols and antipsychotics. And I haven't taken antipsychotics for four months now. I I'm a heavy... I'm a, I, I use wine on a regular basis. Daily. And gin. And whiskey. Whiskey once every month. Gin once every fortnight. And wine every damn day. Now... Apparently, when I passed her, she covered her nose, like I said before. So he told me when I was going for break. So I sprayed some shit on from someone else. So from now on, I will be taking a small spray bottle and I'll be spraying myself thoroughly. I didn't. He told me I didn't smell, but he said that it could be something from her. I have been self-conscious about bad breath, so I carry a bottle of mint. Uh, oh, have a mint. It's very effective. Uh, and I also don't like smelling bad because I know what I've been in that situation. I've been in her shoes. So, for example, I told my colleagues, I know my colleagues smell bad, so I don't tell them. But I suppose I should tell them because it would make them understand that they are being judged very horribly. But so I'm very, very appreciative. So I'm going to go for, I'm going to go up and beyond for him. He has a few, he, he wants to shoot a YouTube channel, like travel video, so whenever he wants me to do something, I will do it for him. So just because of what he has said to me and passed, and what he has passed the message on to me. I am very grateful for that man. Uh, well, he's quite younger than me, so my younger brother. I'm very grateful for him and for the guy who sent, uh, supplied me with the spray for the short time duration. So when I came home on the bus, because I didn't want to take the car with my mother, I sprayed, I showered down, I sprayed, I ordered some food, ate it, and I've now been working a rack, a call. I don't even know how to say his name. I'll put the link in my description so you too can indulge in his videos. It's fun, if you're a man, that is. If you want to be an alpha man, then it's fun. I have a bit left. So I'm here sweating. The heat is on. These medications. So I take her so I took some cod liver oil in the morning. This one. I might throw that away because it tastes it give me vomiting sensations. It's oil after all and it's fish oil. So I would assume that's why. But also I've heard some voices from a paedophile that it said humiliate him, so I'm guessing that's part of the program. Also I have uh, I have decided not to ruin someone's life. I'm just going to let them push the envelope further and further. Until it gets shredded by her own stupidity, until she loses her hand. But if your sister comes in, any by any shape or form, oh, and when I came on the bus, I saw this moron who, who I don't like seeing at all. 
He thinks he's stronger than me, and he thinks he's more powerful than me. Sure, I let you think that, buddy, but at the end of the day, well, at the end of the scenario, you will come begging, and it won't happen. That's pretty much it. Uh, you know, oh, and uh, I plan to go to this buffet zone tomorrow in Milton Keynes. If any of you want to join me, I'm not paying for you, but I will tell you what time I'm going. It's at 5 o'clock. It's MK Buffett Village in the hub. No, not the hub. The theatre district in Milton Keynes. If you're there around 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock, maybe, whatever time you want, leave it on the message today and then we'll talk. I'm going to go alone. I've been alone to many restaurants, many movies, many theatres. Heck, I even spent most of my time alone in the early 2010s to 2015s. Every Thursday to every Friday, every Thursday to every Sunday, uh, drinking in a Weatherspoons pub all on my own, middle of the day, after eating lunch. No one gives a shit. They just carry on as their own, as usual. Just some random guy getting drunk.